real foggy day. Gotta stop for some tacos. Got here to Port Mansfield, Texas. I'm getting the jet ski set up. Got my buddy Aaron with me. So what's up, Aaron? What's up? Got the jet skis loaded up. I don't know how we can see that. Got them all loaded up, ready to go. Go see if we can go catch some biggins today. Alrighty guys, if I haven't introduced myself already, my name is Captain Ben Rogers. I'm out here with my buddy Aaron Galvan. We're out here on our jet skis. Gonna make a quick run up north out of Port Mansfield, Texas right now. We're gonna go fish for some flounder, fish for some nice trout, hopefully catch some big reds. We'll keep you updated when we're out there. Alrighty guys, we're headed out. We're headed out of the harbor. Nice, calm, slick day. We got the rack set up. My buddy over there on his the other ski and we're gonna tear up some fish we'll come back all righty boys we're about to take off we're getting going let's go Trout of the day, nice biggin, and a nice one. I got my buddy over there. He hooked up onto one right now and lost it. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be a good day, boys. Now let me get him out of the net so I can show y'all uh, show y'all how he looks. Alrighty, guys, please excuse the hair, but this guy is just a monster. Oh, yeah, man, that is a sweet trout. Hit it on the AM AM fishing atomic fire belly. Working it slow, picking them up. We're getting on them, All boys. Guys, we were over there at that last spot, and uh, we hit uh, we hit a few trout. Uh, I caught that nice one. Uh, we moved just a little bit, about a mile or so east of. Uh, we're still probably about two, three miles just east on the west bank of Port Mansfield. Uh, we're working our way up north to the land cut. Uh, we're gonna see how we do here. Right, so we've been fishing for probably about an hour and a half or so. We've been picking up a couple of these nice little dink trout. This one's right at 15. I'm going to go ahead and release him. Um, fishing some popping cork right now in some about four feet of water. And it's where it's working pretty well. Uh, getting the nice dinks. This one's right on 15. I'm going to let him go. We're going to get some bigger Alrighty, ones. Alrighty, guys. Um, we have now moved uh, about 12 miles north of the uh, King Ranch Piers at the area we were, we were at. Uh, right now, we are just uh, south of the Game Warden Shack. I don't know if you can see that right behind me, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take some time to show you guys exactly what we're throwing today. Uh, right here, I got a uh, Captain Dan's Pink Punch, and I dipped it in a chartreuse garlic um, uh, dye, and I'm actually throwing it. Let me get, let me grab this for real quick. We're throwing it on a popping cork, on the ultimate cork, all the way at the bottom. Got about a two foot leader. And that's been working out pretty well. I've been catching a bunch of dinks on it. And then my other setup right now is a uh, AM Purple Haze uh, on a weedless hook. Uh, that's what I'm going to start throwing right now. I'm going to see if we catch some more, some, uh, see if we can not get some more trout in the boat. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Got a nice one. Oh, a little one. A little baby. Oh, he didn't fight that bad. He didn't fight hard, but... Ooh, yeah. Look at that. And a nice little trout on the nice trout on the popping cork here. Grab my phone. Check, check it out. Nice little trout. I'm gonna measure him up right now and I'll let you guys know if he's a keeper or not. 
Nice little 15 inch trout. Caught on the popping cork. Ended up being a keeper. Alrighty guys, we're fishing uh, just north up here by the game board and shack. We're fishing about four feet of water. Uh, I'm throwing some popping cork right now. And uh, I'm getting hits. Uh, I just uh, missed one. Came back up, he came back for it again. Missed him again, and then I didn't come back for the third one. Threw it right back out again in the same spot. Uh, I'm trying to find him. He's in there. I know he is. He's playing with me. He's definitely playing with me. There we go. There we go. Oh, no. He's off. He's off. Damn it. Wow. Jeez. Come on. We got to get one. We're going to get one right here. Right here on this throw. Right here. Alrighty, so I was uh, running the popping cork setup. You can see it right over here, right on the back. Um, I'm switching over to the baitcaster setup. Uh, I was catching a bunch of small trout, uh, you know, 14 inches, 13 small ones. Um, so I'm going to switch over to a weedless. I'm going to get down lower into the grass, and I'm going to see if I can't pull out any of those bigger bigger pigs that we're looking for now nah, we'll keep you guys updated as we go all righty guys so as i was saying before we're throwing the bait caster right now uh, and i'm getting nice hits uh they're just not you know taking the lure uh, and i, I want to blame that on myself because i'm not setting the hook correctly but um this area right here, there it holds so much trout. It is, it is insane. We, uh, in the last five minutes or so, I, I didn't have the camera on. Uh, I pulled out about four or five little little dinks um, on this uh, purple haze. But uh, we're getting ready to move to a different spot. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and move a little bit farther north, uh, get into a little shallower water, and go try to find some nice redfish. Uh, I'm gonna get this one more cast and see how see if we can't pull out one more trout out of here. I'm getting some nice bites, nice nibbles, good tugs. Oh, there's a little nibble. There's a nibble. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Alrighty guys, well there's my buddy pulling up behind me, so I'm guessing we're going to move to somewhere else, we're going to try to find some redfish. It's about 11 o'clock, the uh, sun's up nice high in the air, uh, we're going to go look for some redfish. Alright guys, so I'm working a little bit of popping cork here. Oh yeah, oh boy. Wow, he hit hard. <laughs> I was looking at the camera, make sure I was recording. Good thing I was. Oh, would you look at that, boys? Would you look at that. Got a little rat red on popping cork. Captain Dan's pink punch. Little rat red. He had came up and hit it, took it down with him, and then it came off. I was man, damn, that was a good pull. And then came back and hit it again. And I got him on the second time. Nice little red. We're gonna go, go ahead and release this guy. He's he's definitely uh definitely undersized, but I don't know if the camera can see that. Look at that tail. That tail is beautiful. That's a nice color in that tail. These are these redfish that have been sitting in these these sand these sand pockets. There's some nice redfish here. See we can't get see we can't get some more. Alrighty guys. 
So we are out here in Gladys Hole right now, and it is slick calm. I mean, calm. You can see the redfish uh, making these Vs in the water. I can see one right over there. Um, me, uh, me and my buddy Aaron, uh, he's over there on the north side, and he actually pulled out a 23. Um, uh, I pulled out about two or three rat reds. It's been a while since I picked up the camera. I've been a little, a little bad about recording everything, but uh, we're we're on we're on the redfish right now. So I'm gonna leave the camera rolling and uh, see if we can hook up to one. All right, guys, we're out here in Gladys Hole. My buddy Aaron's gonna stay here. I'm gonna go run around and go try to find some trout. We found a few redfish in here, but not uh, not what we're looking for. A bunch of undersized. So let's go see if we can find some more trout. Alrighty guys, we're pretty much done looking for these redfish. We've uh, we've got two of them with us. Uh, we're gonna go try to catch our the last the limit of our trout. Uh, we're gonna go hit some green water uh, and start headed back head back in and uh, call it a day pretty much. Uh, it's been a pretty good day so far. What do you think, Aaron? Okay, just hooked up. Just hooked up. Feels like a nice one. Oh, it's a little red. Looks like a little red fish. Oh, yeah. Wow, it's a nice golden red fish right here. It's a little baby. Check that out. Oh, oh, oh. Don't leave yet. You need to go in the video. Look at this guy. Little redfish. Get the uh, purple haze on popping cork. Nice little red. Oh, well, you're lucky, buddy. And he's gone. Good little fight. Oh, yep. There's one. That's a nice one. Haven't seen it come up yet. Uh, a little trout. Or it might be a good. Yeah, a little trout. Yep, same thing. Purple haze on the cork. Another little dink trout. Been catching these things all day long. I ain't even gonna bother measuring them. He's probably 12, 13 inches. Good little trout. And off he goes. Got another hookup. Another hookup. Oh, it's a trout. A little trout. Yeah, sir. And we've been catching these things all day. I keep saying it. Same thing on the purple haze. AM lure on a cork. Another nice trout. My buddy hooked up over there. He's hooked up. Oh, no, nope, he lost it. He lost it. <laughs> I got to teach him how to fish sometimes, guys. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> All right, so while I'm sitting here working the cork, I'm just going to go ahead and explain... Um, I guess uh, my technique on how I, I guess use my cork. Uh, just go ahead and you cast it out, and uh, I like to give it really my slack, give it two good hard pops, and let it sit for a second or two. Uh, let it float around, and then reel in my slack, give it a quick two little more little pops. Ooh, we look right there, cork went down. Come down again. So the, the the popping cork is uh it's 
I don't want to say it's an old style of fishing, but it is, uh, it's been around for a, for a really long time. And um, mainly people use, you know, live shrimp, stuff like that. Um, I fill the popping cork uh, with, uh, with a lure underneath, and it, and it works just the same. Uh, Save yourself a couple bucks, $20, $30 in, in live shrimp, which is what you would normally use underneath this. You know, you can really throw anything underneath the popping cork, but uh, this is my go-to for uh, deeper water trout. Um, I like to throw popping cork, just, uh, just work the popping cork a little. Um, it's super easy to do. Uh, there's really no skill to it. All you do is just sit here, pop your cork, and then once that thing goes down, you know you got a fish on. Very, very easy way to fish. Very easy way. Oh, look, there it is, right there. Oh, that's a nice one. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Pop, pop, and be lazy, and you're gonna catch your fish. Oh, this is embarrassing. Oh, actually, no. I'm not that embarrassed. <laughs> nice little 13 inch, 12 inch trout. Hook your back, I'm good. Nice trout over here. I got my buddy over there. He's got one on. What do you got, Aaron? Oh yeah, that's a nice trout, boy. We're ca catching these trout. He's got one over there. Popping cork. Catch you some trout. guys same thing uh, different area still trying to find our last few trout for the day um, we just stopped here at this spot uh, we saw a lot of movement ran into a school some jack Ravels that we messed around for a little bit but over here we're seeing a lot of mullet jump out of the water a lot of movement in the water still throwing the cork uh, still throwing purple haze and see if we can't hook up on uh, hook up on some to some more trout here we're getting ready to call it a day. Oh yeah. That's a keeper. All right guys, so I'm just slow working this lure here. Oh, as soon as it landed, look, oh, look at that, look at that boy, oh yeah, I was just about to say I was working the lure real slow, trying to work the bottom of the bottom of the water, and this guy just came, came up and got it, oh yeah, he looks like a keeper. I'm splashing around my boat, look at that. I was just about to say I was working it real slow and and trying to grab the bottom of the uh, to work work the bottom of the of the floor or of the uh, the the water, and as soon as I opened my mouth, this guy just came and chunked it. Hit the uh, chicken shark, AM fishing. He looks like a keeper. What's going on, guys? Back here in my garage, actually, uh, I know in the last clip I said that I would meet up with you guys back at the dock, but uh, me and my buddy got back to the dock, there's some issues uh, there, there's some people need, needed help, uh, we ended up just tying up our skis, uh, helping them out, get their boat out of the water, uh, sun was going down, uh, just kind of got laid on us, so we just kind of, we pulled our jet skis out of the water, we went over to the fillet station, cleaned our fish, and went home, uh, and I didn't get to... Uh, you know film any of that or anything like that but um 
as I've said before, I am Captain Ben Rogers. Uh, I run a charter service off of my personal boat. It is a 25-foot uh, uh, Mayak Illusion. Uh, my charter service is Barely Legal Charters. Um, you can uh, contact me through Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, my phone number, email, and I'll, I'll put all that in the uh, description below. Um, anybody, you know, looking for charters, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, uh, we are back here at home. We've got the jet skis put away, uh, letting the mare out. Uh, overall, uh, pretty decent day. Uh, and it came back with a limited trout, uh, three redfish, and uh, had a damn good day on the water. Um, forgive me, this was my very, 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 very first video I have ever made. And uh, I hope you guys like it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys later.